Welcome to another adventure with getting lost. And today we are doing our final part, the last part of our Geelang River adventure, where we follow the Geelang River from its source until here, which is the Marina Reservoir. And in the last episode, we have a bit of a hoo ha, a bit of an uh excitement about some sea creature or sea monster that lives in this water here well did we actually find out the truth of the myth the rumor the activity that happens here well that's a very interesting question which i won't answer but to find out more of our continuing journey here where we'll be walking in that direction Please join me after the intro as we will explore more. Welcome back! And as you see, we are finally reaching the Benjamin Shears Bridge. And here, this bridge is another stopping point of our walking adventure here as we walk along the Marina Promenade. And we are heading here, which is nothing, it's a stop that we should stop and talk about this bridge here. This bridge here is the Benjamin Shears Bridge, which is a 1.8 kilometer long stretch of highway that forms part of the East Coast Parkway or the ECP, which links Shenton Way to the Marina Center. And this bridge, as you see here, is named after, after Benjamin Shears, which is the second president of Singapore. And sadly, um, Benjamin Shears, he actually passed away four months before this bridge was officially opened. And this bridge was opened on the 26th of September 1981. And this bridge spans the Kalang Basin and the Singapore River. And what we see here now is the Kalang Basin or the Marina Reservoir. And here, the bridge at its highest points is 29 meters tall and is said to be the longest and highest elevated bridge built by the Public Works Department. But unfortunately, the bridge has been downgraded from an expressway to a arterial road with the opening of the MCE or the Marina Coastal Expressway. Another interesting fact is that this bridge was actually built on top of reclaimed land. But what's more interesting here is the bridge actually crosses this place here, which is actually a racing track or the F1 track on over here is the pit stop and in September every year I think around the 20th 21st 22nd like during that period uh, it will be on a weekend like a Friday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday during that period in September every year uh, there's actually a F1 race here so this is actually a bona fide F1 race. So the races here are part of the Singapore Grand Prix, which is a motor race, which forms part of the FIA Formula One World Championship. This event takes place on the Marina Bay Street Circuit, which is here, and was the inaugural night race and first street circuit in Asia designed for Formula 1 races and these races has been running along here since 2008 and so far it may continue until at least 2021 
after that who knows but so far this is the place here and here as you see the waters over here now we are looking at the Benjamin Shears Bridge here and underneath it flowing through it is the Marina Reservoir all the way to the Marina Barrage over the other side and here is the pit building so during the off season this place is a how do I say this a blank canvas for various events that you can have here but majority of the time the track uh, can be used as a jogging track a cycling track you know, a lot of such items to keep yourself healthy here but or events sometimes you can have concerts you can have other types of events here but at the moment now this place is a bit quiet because there's no events and here look at the vast waters of the, sing, the marina reservoir and the distance the gardens by the bay what you see here now from this side here is the marina reservoir and from that side the water flows in from the singapore river and there is the marina barrage and here is still the marina reservoir a very wide and big and deep and wide reservoir and over here the water flows in from the Kalang River, the Rocho River and the Gelang River and here we are looking again at the pit stop and right next to it is this enormous wheel this here is called a the Singapore Flyer the Singapore Flyer is actually a giant ferris wheel in Singapore but we'll get into that later but here now from across the waters here you can see the gardens by the bay marina bay sands and then the hdb sorry not the hdb the cbd area and here is the singapore flyer a huge 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 giant ferris wheel in singapore or some people call it a observation wheel but here we're still seeing more of the marina reservoir the vast waters and from this direction here like i told you earlier the singapore river actually feeds the marina reservoir from that direction but still we can't get enough of this singapore flyer building Actually, at the bottom here, this area, eh, there are some restaurants, there are some bars, there are some retail places, but not much. But what we're looking at now is the F1 track. It's not often that you can get to actually walk on an official F1 track, you know, where F1 cars during the uh, Singapore Grand Prix, the night races, they actually zoom past this location here. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And from here, they go along a circuit along the city. And here, we are actually walking on a race track, a bonafide race track. And this is also a very popular place for people to come to take some Instagrammable photos of the track and also of the wheel. And I guess since we are here, we might as well just talk about the Singapore Flyer, which the operators here describes it as a observation wheel. It was actually opened in 2008 and it took around two and a half years to build. And look, they are also huge, thick metal cables that keep the wheel in place so these are the cabins or the con air conditioned capsules that each can accommodate accommodate 28 passengers and to get onto those uh, capsules you need to get to the third floor 
at the, this terminal building here, the Singapore Flyer Terminal Building. So the overall height of this whole Singapore Flyer is 165 meters and it was the tallest ferris wheel when it was built until the, the title was taken by the Las Vegas Strip uh, Nevada Flyer in 2014 but from 2008 to 2014 it was the tallest ferris wheel in the world and look at this these are one of the support columns as you can see here that holds keeps the Singapore Flyer stable look it's actually bolted to the ground and looks at the thick wires and as you go into this terminal building you can see there's actually a nice little frosted area here and this is the third level uh, terminal area where you actually get onto the capsule and to go one whole round it takes around 32 minutes and like I told you earlier there are each of these capsules you see here once you reach the top is first of all hand condition and you get a continuous unobstructed view of the area and and here at the bottom here there's also a small little pond where you can actually put some money here to actually feed the fishes and as you can see the fishes have been trained when you see a human at the edge of the pond all of them will come to be towards you because they make the assumption that you're going to feed them because it's just a feeder right beside me i just need to put in a coin and i can actually feed all the fishes but unfortunately i'm not going to feed them i'm more interested in these capsules so each capsule here has a uh, floor area of 26 meters and is capable of carrying 28 passengers and this wheel is actually rotating on a clockwise direction and also handicap friendly so if you want to come here and you want to have an unobstructed view of Singapore at the top there which is almost uh, one like I said this is the height of this uh, Ferris wheel is 165 meters so from uh, 165 meters above this ground here you can have a very good view so this is the Singapore Flyer a huge 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 Ferris wheel in Singapore um, honestly speaking I have never sat here before even though I've been living here for so long but this is just not my thing I do not like to pay money to sit on uh, tourist attractions So after you walk past the Singapore Flyer, you'll be passing underneath the Benjamin Shears Bridge again, and then the Helix Bridge, and then you will be going to the Youth Olympic Park, and then the float at Marina Bay, where we have a lot of our National Day uh, parades and National Day events there. And that's about all. So I think we will actually stop our journey here today at this point here where the Singapore River flows out from here to join the Marina Reservoir and so unfortunately this brings us to the end of our adventure along this body of water we have came from the source of the Geylang River and travelled along the Geylang River until it reached the Kalang Basin and from the Kalang Basin, which flows into the Marina Reservoir, and we have walked past the Marina Reservoir. And here, we'll be ending our adventure after walking so long. And finally, we have reached the end. So, I hope you enjoyed and to see all the sights and all the sounds and all the attractions along this walk here. And I hope you enjoyed it. I surely did. And... I guess that's about the end 
until now for here they will stop what am i talking about <laughs> anyway thank you very much so before we go please do me a favor please help me by liking my video sharing my video and also subscribing to my channel and lastly but the most important thing the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next adventure see you there bye bye